and we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed a thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange four and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center. Speed good engine, startling back to two thirds of the rate west. Passing the air at maximum dynamic pressure, out to the supersonic. The external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for Discovery. Altitude 8 miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units. We good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Roughly five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. 